Tonight on 17 News at 5, a local surgeon is using Google Glass to care for his patients and help other doctors. 17's Paul Harris examines how the advanced science is used during delicate surgery. The Google Glass Doctor, tonight on 17 News at 5. It is one of the hottest tech gadgets around, and it's not even on store shelves yet. I'm talking about the Google Glass, the product made headlines last month when for just one day, Google put the glasses on sale for $1,500 a pop. 17's Paul Harris joins us with details of how a local doctor saw away these high-tech specs could help his practice and his patients. Bakersfield plastic surgeon Dr. Darshan Shah uses Google Glass in his operations. He says the device allows him to communicate with colleagues and troubleshoot problems in seconds, time that could be critical to his patients. Okay, Glass, record a video. You may have seen the promotional videos for the device called Google Glass. A few have been released to thrill seekers, pilots, or chefs. A Fresno man uses his device okay, to go grocery shopping. Find a recipe for strawberry dessert. The device is worn like traditional glasses. Its functions are activated by either looking up, tapping the side of the rims, or by a voice command. Bakersfield plastic surgeon Dr. Darshan Shaw, the hands-free device helps him in his practice. And my main reason for getting the Google Glass was to see if I could have a collaborative environment in the operating room, which we normally don't have. In real time, Dr. Shaw can communicate with a colleague in Malibu or his chief nurse across the office to troubleshoot a problem. Now I can still keep operating, not looking at the commands until I'm ready. Okay, Glass, video conference Nancy Solorio which frees her up as well. Before Google Glass, I think most of us got in the habit of kind of stopping what we're doing to have to go communicate or picking up our phone to communicate. With Google Glass, it's very seamless. He just buzzes right in, we talk, I can move on to the very ne next task. Google Glass is unique in allowing you to broadcast what you are seeing in real time, but that has some privacy advocates worried. If you terrify people that anything that happens outside of their bedroom could be part of the permanent record of human history, you're gonna really change how a lot of us live. So privacy concerns is something that we always talk about. We wanna make sure that the patient knows that whatever we're seeing in the Google Glass is only being seen by specific colleagues and only in specific situations. We also never refer to the patients by name. We never show the patients identifying information or face. Dr. Shaw thinks Google Glass may become as commonplace in a surgeon tool set as a scalpel one day. I mean, do you consider yourself a pioneer of this aspect though? Um, I mean, I hope so. I'm, I, don't <laughs> I feel like Google is the real pioneer and I'm just use, utilizing their tools. <laughs> Dr. Shaw is developing an app for Google Glass that will be geared more to medical personnel. He hopes to launch it in 2015. Paul Harris, 17 News. Wow, I think I'm, um, I'm a ways away from Google Glass. <laughs> I know, I still don't get it. Really, just communicate with that PC back there. <laughs>